start i am obliged for the opportunity given to me to speak i stand here to support the appropriation bill and also the appropriation bill under consideration since the philosophy of our budget which we have debated for 4 days in this house is very much reflected in the two bills under consideration and since both the sides were appreciative of certain very important features of the budget which is very much reflected in the appropriation bill i support it wholeheartedly there cannot be any denying of the fact that everybody from our side as well as from the opposition side has admitted that this is a green budget but on grey landscape so far as greenness of the budget is concerned even the opposition member have come forward while they were putting their points of view on the budget saying that for the first time a great emphasis has been laid on agriculture productivity and they believe that it will lead to productivity while replying yesterday the finance minister commented upon the fact that once productivity is raised demand should be raised and the these stabilizing forces in the economy would be contained and so on and so forth therefore with this hope giving budget what i say is that it is for us to consider and support the first silent feature which i want to point out and which is very much reflected in the appropriation bill is that rupees 3000 crore more loans will be channeled to the agricultural sector the second silent feature is that the import duty on pesticides and allied weed killing medicines will be diminished gradually and fertilizer prices will be reduced by as much as 7.5% the third feature is that this 12% more financial subsidy will be accorded to the farm sector <coughs> compared to the fiscal year 1997-98 beside a large portion 
of this huge amount of rupees 120 crore to be spent on infrastructure facilities like transport and communication will go to the rural area then there is money to be spent on irrigation which is very well mentioned in the appropriation bill sir it is pity that while the union government has been so concerned about the upliftment of the poor many state government seemed to have been diverting central funds meant for poverty alleviation programs to other fields of expenditure which should be stopped